Okay, so still hasn't been 24 hours, but it has been about two hours since my last video. So the, land, the um, lights, excuse me, have been at full intensity, or I mean the, the full intensity that I have them set for, uh, for about 90 minutes. Um, so let's check out what we've got. They look a little bit better. So I don't know if you notice, I do have inside of there, there is one uh, firework clove polyp. There's actually a second one in there that I haven't seen open up yet. It's very, very small. But anyway, so with my shaky hands and this grainy video as I zoom in, I think you can tell, though, that as I said earlier, they clearly survived the peroxide dip. Uh, they don't seem to be too happy, but they're definitely alive uh, just like everybody said they would be. And so I'm just kind of repeating myself here over and over. Uh, really what's going to matter here is whether or not the algae uh, comes back. And I'm assuming that's going to take several days to find out. I'm getting ready to leave for a week and the wife is going to be in charge of the tank. Ah! And so we'll see uh, what it looks like when I come back. Um, but let's just see what we got here. Clownfish, what's up? A little pipe organ, the goby. You know, I don't have a lot in here. A lot in here at all. These are definitely my fave. Man, these things are cool. They appear to be just growing like crazy. Um, so anyway, um, there it is once again. So if you're thinking about doing the dip, uh, don't be afraid of it killing your zoas at least. And I will keep you guys updated on whether or not the algae comes back so here we are if you're not following my channel this is one month uh in give or take a couple days to this nano reef tank i'll step all the way back this is a f zone 11 gallon all in one i have the 50 watt hyper reef light with the timer i have the mag tool dsq 70 skimmer I have the F-Zone uh, dual sensor ATO in the back, and I love this little guy. So, tank just needs time. It just looks so blue, everything's so small, nothing exciting in it yet, uh, but just letting it grow and just kind of learning along the way about ways to deal with some things. If you didn't see my video on the Aptasia X, uh, I used that on two little Aptasias uh, about a week ago. I made a video, it appears to have worked great. Uh, nothing has returned as of yet, but you can't see me, but I'm holding my breath. <gasps> so update on that. And now I've done the peroxide dip, and so we'll see if that algae comes back. So just kind of doing a lot of experiments and learning things and trying to share them with everybody else out there like me who's like, hey, I've never done this, does it work? Am I gonna kill something? So I'm always on the internet looking for videos to see if there's other people out there. You know, I'm just going to be honest. I'm not too interested in somebody who's got like a million followers and several like $20,000 tanks and they have every bell and whistle. And I'm just not going to lie. I don't, I'm not really super into their advice. I'm more interested in looking for videos, uh, real people, real tanks on a budget, um, you know, not really saying something works because I got Aptasia X for free from my sponsor, uh, but actually just trying it and seeing how it works and showing you guys the truth. So we're going to find out. Here it is. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, follow me, and <clears throat> I'm going to be following the journey of this reef tank for quite some time.